everyone welcome to another video i'm going to show you some of the things that i got for my birthday this year some things i bought myself some things david got for me some of the items that i'm going to show another reason why i wanted to do this personally i don't like haul videos i feel like it can feel like just a spew of look what I've bought recently. I like showing things to you because you might be looking for new things yourself, but I never want these hauls to feel like, mm, look what I've bought, even though they might. To some of you, that, that might be what you get from them, but it's not what I intend. And the fact is, these are the videos I get asked for the most, so that's why I do them. But some of the items I'm gonna show you are perfect Christmas gifts. They are really feminine, really cute, very fashion-y and under 50 pounds so keep watching the first thing i got from dior and it is a pair of boots so if you've maybe got your eye out at the moment for a pair of boots something actually comfortable that's got a heel but isn't so high that you can't realistically wear it can i please suggest these these are from like the latest autumn winter collection they've got a pointed toe but i find that they're actually quite wide across here so when you wear them there's no pinching one of the trends that's come out of deal recently which i never thought i'd like actually but i really do it is this slanted heel that you can see when it first came out i was like it looks like your heels bent inwards. You know when, like when I was a teenager, if I had a pair of shoes that I wore too much, you know the cheapy ones that start bending in after you've worn them too much? It sort of, to me, looked a bit like that. But they've really grown on me. And one of the other reasons that I liked these, well, from an aesthetic point of view, I liked the pointy toe, but I also love bows. I love bows on, on this bit of the shoe, but I also like it on the back, I just like bows. If you want a quality, soft boot that you can actually wear, the heel isn't too high, they look quite cute on, I really like wearing these with jeans, then I highly recommend these. What I should say is everything I'm going to show you, I got from Harrods, and there is a reason for that. At Harrods, they have a points card, and every time you spend, you get points for it, and it really adds up. At the end of the year, I normally get two vouchers in a year, so whatever you spend, you get a voucher equivalent. And I've had vouchers for like 500, 600 pounds. It really adds up. But what I do is I don't spend the amount of money you'd necessarily need to to get those points. They have various points in the year where they do double points or where, like when it's your birthday, you get triple points. So I try and make all of my big purchases when they've got a 10% off date and when they're doing double or triple points. I went to the Guerlain counter and I went there to get more of this. This is their Super Aqua Eye Serum. They call it a serum, but it's more like a really light cream and it is perfect for hydrating around your eyes if you've got first signs of aging any sort of lines whatsoever i use this morning and evening and i've been using this for a very long time so i thought seeing as it's this triple points off i'm just gonna go and get some while i was there i smelt this perfume before i saw it that is the name of it there um can i just say for any oh there it is written on the side for any of you who love oud or strong musky scents this is incredible because it's it's oud but it's very very vanilla it's really really intense i'm gonna put some of this on actually actually I, oh it's so strong i walked past one of the girls working at harrods and i was like what is that smell and that happens rarely you know when particularly in the perfume room and harrods there is so much going on in there if you've ever been in that room it is like bustling and you come out and you're like high from the amount of perfume being sprayed but i smelt this one and i was like what is that it's sort of like tobacco but lots of vanilla, like very heavy vanilla. I would say this is also unisex. The next thing is this. How pretty is this? I didn't actually get this in Harrods. This was sent to me by a subscriber, but it is so beautiful and she sent it to me for my birthday. I didn't want to open it because it looks so nice, but now you're here, I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. This is made out of silver and then this is purple tanzanite. This was made for me by Novita. Novita is in Australia. She actually hand makes all of these and you can get whatever color, pretty much like whatever color stone you want. I love purple. And so I chose like this mauvey color. I love it, I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Novita. I think I've probably got too much going on here, but that's it. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay, moving on. My biggest purchase 
One that I had held off until the triple points thing, uh, and this is something that I wanted for a while. It is this. It is the Lady Dior. I've already got a Lady Dior in blue, and at the time when I got this, it was in the medium size, and now I don't think it's called medium anymore. I think it's called the small size, but I got the same size again, because for me, this is a perfect size to actually use realistically every day. I first saw this bag when I went to Paris with Christian Dior in October, and it comes in patent. It also comes in calfskin, and you can get it in a few different colors. You can get it in black, navy blue, a really pale pink, or a sort of taupey, tan, beige color. I saw the calfskin first, and I liked it, but when I saw the patent, I just, I liked it even more. I feel like it adds a bit extra to the bag. You can only get this, from what I understand, you can only get it with the aged gold hardware. I haven't seen this in silver. But one of the things that I was really keen about is the strap that comes with it. On the old Lady Dior bag, I think it's still the case now, the strap that comes with it is quite narrow. And this is it now, and it's double as well. Like normally, you go that side and then you turn it the other way and you've got like the reverse, you know what I mean? Like the opening bits of the studs, but it's really nicely finished on both sides. And this is pretty cool because you can take this off and use this on different bags. And that's sort of what I wanted to do with it. The problem with the thin strap on the Lady Dior is it's fairly practical. You can just about wear it crossbody and you can obviously wear it over one shoulder. But because it's quite thin, if you load the bag up, it digs in a little bit. I also don't think that it looks very nice. And I've had some of you talking to me about, have I considered getting one of the chain straps for it? I don't really like those either. But when I saw this bag in Paris with this thicker strap on it and I tried it on, it feels more sturdy when you wear it. I think in this, it takes the Lady Dior from something that is obviously quite ladylike and quite classic to something that's still got a classic appeal, but it's got a slightly younger and more edgy look to it. When I first saw this, I looked at it on my birthday and then I didn't get it and I left it until the end of the week and it was literally the day the triple points are about to run out and I phoned up, um, I've got a lady there that I go to for like personal shopping and stuff like that and I phoned her up and I was like, can you, can you like sort me out this bag today? And they didn't have it and they had to get it from a different store but they managed to do it in the same day. And, um, and yeah, that, that service at Harrods actually really good and they do free shipping on that as well. So it's, it's pretty handy. The next things that I got are these, which you're gonna die when you see these. This is what I was saying, this and the necklace if you want something really girly really like pretty and feminine these things are perfect as christmas gifts or even just as a gift to yourself if you're if you're wanting to do that there were a few things that i got personally i really like the look of pom-poms when you hang them on bags you are not going to believe that these are not real when i looked on their website i thought you know when they say that they're not real, but they actually are, you get them and you're like, I can see that's real and you've just sold it as faux. I have got a series of pom-poms. These are the first two that I got. You can do multiple things with these, but on the website, they had them clipped onto the front of a pair of shoes. You can clip them onto anything. So as I mentioned, I really wanted to get a fur key ring, but nothing that was real. And I found this. This is the same color as those pom-poms that you can put on the ends of your shoes. I'm gonna give you an idea of size. That will sort of give you an idea there. They are the things that I got from Anna Kate. I didn't get these from Harrods. Did I say that? I didn't get these from Harrods. I bought these online. I'll put a link to the store below. Oh yeah, and I also meant to show you before I move on, these were another thing that I got from there, which are these have you seen these pin things before? They look quite Dior. But what you can do with them is, for example, on the gloves, you can pin them through the gloves, or even on a shirt, if you've got a shirt that's buttoned up, you can pin this across the top so that it holds it together. Then the final thing, which is probably one of my favorite things, um, my husband David got me this, and I really like these Nike sports tops. They are made from this fabric that on the inside, it's so soft and they're really like, they're really cozy to wear. I've put prices of everything through this video and I'm gonna put details of where you can get things below. I don't think you can get all of this online, like the Dior stuff, I'm, I don't think you can, but you can certainly browse and they've got prices. Dior are quite good actually for putting prices on their website. They don't normally put 
all of their stock though. So for example, I don't think the bag in that patent's on there. I always do a what am I wearing today outfit of the day thing. And I thought the easiest way of doing this is like this. So the shirt that I'm wearing is this. This is from Iris and Ink. The watch that I'm wearing is called Cassia. You can get it in a few colors, but I've got the pearlescent ivory and it goes with so many things. I really highly recommend it. I'm then wearing these boots and these jeans. The boots are 30 pounds. Honestly, you've got to go and check it out. I'm going to link to everything below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.